Hi, this is Matt Parker Tutorial Services, there to help teachers with their admin, there to help students with the coursework, and there to help business with their IT systems. Now, what I thought I'd do today, uh, it's been the subject of my lectures ever since we started the new database coursework, is to explain the difference between the different types of many-to-many -many relationships and databases that you can have. I'm going to start by showing you um, what is normally GCSE level um, and described as a many-to-many -many relationship. And indeed, you've got here, you know, this could be members, it could be customers, it could be staff, employees, whatever. You've got some sort of product or service, and you've got some sort of transaction in the middle. Now, this system is perfect if you're buying something like a car or an insurance agreement, something where one person buys one of one product in one transaction, okay? And it works perfectly. If I look at the... Uh, this tables in design view, you know, this is a very minimal table. You can fill in the rest for yourself. Okay, we've got it set up to auto number on the person table. We've got a product table, which could be a service and you can only have one price per order. Now in the order table, you've got a composite key. You've got two primary keys, okay, which look up information from the person and the product table respectively. Okay, now with this system, if I go to open an order, you can see that I can only put in one order for one person at a time. Perfect for selling cars, okay? Now, what we're gonna look at is how to turn this system here into a system that will allow you to buy multiple products at the same price, and another system will allow you to buy the same product at different prices. Now, this is obviously a bare basic system. It's designed for people building their own systems and it's designed to help students. So I'm not gonna give away complete systems. I'm gonna give away complete customized systems to businesses. But at this stage, what we're looking at is just this simple idea of person, order and product. Okay, and with this system, the weakness, you can only do one thing at a time. You can only sell one product to one person in one transaction. Okay, now we've dealt with that one. The next system I'd like to show you uh, allows you to do multiple products in one order. So you'll notice on our relationships, we have four tables now, okay? We have split that order table. One side looks up the person, and this is a foreign key, and the other side, the product key, becomes part of a new composite key, and this is your order product. And this is, in effect, what makes your product line. So if I look at these tables in design view, this is the one that's new, you can see that you've got your look up to the order, your look up to the product and your quantity sold. Now, working out the line total and the grand total are going to be subjects of later videos. I like to keep these things short. If I open up the order form, which has a sub form associated with it, you'll see that when I make an order, I can have multiple products, okay, in one transaction. So if I go and make a new order, you can see that I can sell these products, I can enter a quantity. Remember that this idea of having um, a line total here and a grand total, you do that off a query, and that's the subject of later tutorials, later video tutorials. Okay, so that system, that deals with multiple products in one order, and it works well. Okay, now notice how the order table got split, but really it was the key that got split. Now, I'm not going to make the mistake before I did before and show you the endless mirrors that are in Bruce Lee. I'm going to quickly go to my last database, which allows you to do multiple product prices in one order. You've still got four tables, okay? Now, if we look at the order line table, for example, okay, you can see that you've got a new composite key based on the order line, and the product key this time is just a foreign key. Now, remember, line total and grand total will be worked out using queries. Now, the thing that I've got to, I forgot to mention before, when we open this order table, this part of the order form comes from the order table. This part, and it's the same on the other um, database that can deal with multiple products in one order, okay, comes from the order line table. In the other one, it was the order product, the order product table. And you'll notice here, I can quite easily, if I wanted to, I can do deal with more than the same product can be referred to twice, okay? Which allows us to do things like discounts because you might be selling bananas and you might sell 50, 50 cases for one price and the next 50 cases for a lower price, 
OK, so that's it. So just to recap, OK, when you're doing this, OK, if I look at the relationships for this database, you can see that you're splitting the keys each time. So this time we've got the person ID and the product ID, which basically stay the same. We've got our table order line, which is made up of composite key here, which is made out of order line ID and order ID, product ID working as a foreign key. Now, as usual at MapPack Tutorial Services, we give away our systems for free. There'll be a link to each of these three systems underneath. OK, but the main thing is for students, I want you to be able to understand how this works. OK, so hopefully if you found my lecture boring today or it wasn't um, engaging enough, hopefully you can play this as many times as you like and you can download the samples according to your requirements. And that's it. Thank you for listening.